Hello everyone. Here we are going to start with the exercise 11.2 of the chapter factorization. And in this exercise, we will deal with the questions based on factorizing by grouping of terms. Now we go with question number 1. First part, here we are having x square plus xy minus x and minus y. So first of all, we are going to take common from these two and then we are going to take common from these two. So from these two, we can take x as common as x is present in both of it. Now we are left with only 1x and from here 1y. And then from these two, we can take minus 1 as common and we are left with x minus x plus y. Then here we have got the both of the bracket as same. So we can take the bracket as a whole as common and we get x plus y and then x minus y as your answer. Now we'll move to question number two, first part. And here we are having 5xy plus 7y minus 5y square and minus 7x. So very first of all, we have to do the arrangement in this. And in that one, we are going to shift this plus 7y to the last. And that will become 5xy minus 5y square minus 7x and plus 7y. Then we will take common from these two and then from these two. And here we can see that we get 5 and 1y as common. And here we left with x minus y. Then from these two we can take minus 7 common and we get x minus y. Then we see the bracket is common in both of it. So we can write this one as x minus y and 5y minus 7 as answer. Now let's see question number 3 first part. And here in this question we are having a square b minus ab square plus 3a minus 3b. Now from these two we can take ab as common. And on taking AB as common, we are left with 1A and from here we are left with 1B. Then from these two, we can take 3 as common and on taking 3, we are left with A minus B. Now we see that a bracket portion A minus B is common. So we can write A minus B over here and we are left with AB plus 3 as answer. Now let's see question number four, first part. In this question, we are having 6xy square minus 3xy minus 10y and plus 5. So from these two, we can take 3 as well as 1x and 1y common. And we're left with 2y minus, as this whole is taken as common, we're left with 1 over here. Then from these two we can take minus 5 as common and we are left with 2y and then as we are taking minus common so the sign will be changed so we get minus and then 5 1 is 5 so 1 over here. Now the bracket is same so we are left with 2y minus 1 and 3xy minus 5. Now we will go with question number 5. In this question we are having x square plus xy in a bracket x plus y and then x cube. Very first of all we are going to open this bracket and on opening we get x square plus xy plus xy square and then plus y cube and then from these two we can take x as common and here we get x and a bracket x plus y and from these two we can take y square is common as maximum common we can take as y square so we take y square and in a bracket we are left with x plus 1y will be left so we get x plus y in a bracket then again we get the bracket as common that is x plus y and x plus y and we finally get x plus y from the brackets and then x and y square that is x plus y square as Answer. Now we go with question number 6 and here we are having a b square plus a minus 1 b and minus 1. Now we are going to open this bracket and this will become a b square plus a b minus b and minus 1. Now from these two we can take a and b both as common 
So we are left with a b and in a bracket we will be left with only one b and plus as this whole is taken common so we are left with one. Then from these two we can take minus one is common and we will be left with b plus one over here. Now the bracket is common so we can write b plus one and a b minus one as answer. Now let's see question number seven first part. Here we are having 5 pH minus 10 QK plus 2 RPH minus 4 QRK. Now from these two we can take common as 5 and we are left with pH minus 2 K Q K and from these two we can take common of 2 and R and we are left with P H minus 2 Q and K. Now this bracket is again common and we can take the bracket as common P H minus 2 Q K plus 5 plus 2 R as your Answer. Now we go with question number 8. In this question we are having AB in a bracket x square plus y square then minus xy in a bracket a square plus b square. So very first of all we are going to open these two brackets and this will become AB x square plus AB y square. Then here xy a square and minus xy b square. Now we are going to shift this term to the last and this will become a b x square minus x y a square minus x y b square plus a b y square. Now we are going to take common from these two and on taking common we can take common as a and x. So we are left with a and x from these two. Now the remaining portion is b and 1x. So b x then from these two we are left with 1a and 1y that is minus a y. Then from these two we can take minus b and y as common. So b y then and we are left with b and x so bx here we have taken minus common so this will become minus and then from these two we are left with a and y now the bracket as whole bx minus ay bx minus ay so we can take bx minus ay as common and we are left with ax minus by another bracket as your so here we have question number 9 first part and in this one we are having a cube plus a b in a bracket 1 minus 2 a minus 2 b square. Very first of all we will open this bracket and this will become a cube plus a b and minus 2 a square b and this will be copied as it is that is minus 2 b square. Now we can take common of a from these two and here we get a in a bracket we are left with a square plus b and from these two we can take minus 2 b as common and we are left with a square and as we are taking minus common so this will become plus plus and 1 b will be left over here. Now the bracket as a whole the a square plus b and a square plus b. So this will become a square plus b over here and over here we get a minus 2b as answer. Now let's go for question number 9 second part. Here in this question we are having 3x square y minus 3xy plus 12x and minus 12. So here we see that 3, 3, 12 and 12. All of them are the part of the table 3. So very first of all we can take 3 as common from all and this will become x square y minus x y plus 4x minus 
4. Now we can take x y common from these two and 4 common from these two. So here we left with x y in a bracket x minus 1 then plus 4 in a bracket x minus 1 and 3 x minus 1 can be taken from these two and here we get x y plus 4 as answer. Now let's see question number 10. Now in this question we are having six terms and we are going to take the common from these two, these two and then these two. So very first of all from taking these two we can take common of a b and we are left with a plus b. Then from these two we can take common as minus b c and we are left with a plus b again and then from here we can take x y as common and we are left with b. Then the bracket a plus b can be taken as common and we get a plus b and a b minus b c plus x y as r. Now let's see question number 11 first part. Here we are having x minus 1 minus x minus 1 to the whole square then plus a x minus a. So here from these two we can take 1 as common and this will become x minus 1. Here this will be just copied that is x minus 1 as it is to the square and from here from these two we can take a common and we are left with x minus 1. Now here we see that x minus 1 is in all the three positions so we can take x minus 1 as common and we are left with 1 from here minus x minus 1 from here and plus a from here. Now open this bracket and this will become x minus 1, 1 minus x and plus 1 plus a and here plus 1 plus 1 can be solved out and we get x minus 1, 2 minus x plus a as answer. That's all in this video. Thank you.